today is a cleanup day, so we have all sorts of people in the building helping move, you know, large piles of debris out, pieces of furniture from one floor to another, tying things up and, you know, getting them firm so that they'll go up and down the many flights of stairs here at the GAR. Hi, let me introduce myself. I'm Calvin Anderson. <laughs> I'm an associate with the GAR Museum and Civil War uh, uh, Hall and Museum in Lynn, and we've been planning this event for quite a while. So we're undertaking a particular place right around the corner here where there's been debris and soil piled up for a year. We're going to reclaim this spot, try to get some security gates to ARPA funds to close off this alley. This gnarly pile has been here for quite a while. Now this is a true cooperation between city agencies because the ISD supplies the doctor that's out front. The Sheriff Department is coming with some um, community service people to help us with some projects. And also, the DPW came yesterday and it looked like a dungeon. It went up this portion and hung it up on chains of the fire escape to make it easier to get at the fire. Before uh, the current curator, Wendy, came in, the place, I mean, it was nice, it was full of stuff, but it had been kind of neglected. It, it was a mess, things were disordered, and there was very, very little interpretation. So, sure, you could walk around and look at stuff, but you didn't know what you were looking at. So all of these efforts are going to make the J.R. Hall and Museum a, a more interesting place for people who don't know their Civil War history, for them to learn about Civil War history. This is a real gem in, uh, as far as Lynn's history goes, and this is one of the finest, if not the finest, surviving G.A.R. Hall in America. Watch DLC TV News Monday through Saturday at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. on our public access channel, or visit lynntv.org news for videos, press releases, and more for free.